we're looking at this Aaron Judge hit that went for a home run. Uh, and we are told the initial conditions, which is that the initial velocity is 52 meters per second at an angle of 18.9 degrees above the horizontal. Um, and we want to know what are the position and the velocity at time equals two seconds. Okay, I've already calculated or broken down the initial velocity into its components because we worked on that before. Uh, so we have those to use when we need them. So let's start with uh, the velocity. Right? So if we want to know the velocity, we need to know both x and y components. So our equation for the x component of the velocity is that the x component of the velocity is just a constant. Right? So whatever the initial uh, component is, that's what the x component is throughout the entire motion. So that is going to be 49.2 meters per second. Okay? Um, and then our y component is going to be given by, we've got v naught y plus the acceleration times time. Now in this case, we can put it up here, the acceleration throughout the, pro the problem points downward and that's going to be uh, negative g. Right? So uh, when we plug, that, plug in numbers, which we're ready to do here, we can say, okay, our initial uh, velocity in the y direction is 16.8 meters per second. And then we're going to have plus a negative 9.8 meters per second squared times 2.0 seconds. And that gives us that the y component of the velocity at that uh, time, two seconds later, is negative 2.8 seconds. Okay, so when the question is asked, what is the, or has the ball passed its highest point, we can say, well, now the velocity at this point, uh, we don't know uh, everything about it yet. We know the two components. Um, but we know that it's still moving in the positive x direction, because it always does. But now it's got a component of the velocity uh, in the y direction that points down. So it's, uh, that means it has passed its highest point because its uh, y component of its velocity is negative. Uh, need to fix my units there. Uh, meters per second for velocity. Okay, so now that's uh, one way to answer the question about the velocity is to give the components. But usually uh, something that's a bit easier to understand is to give the magnitude of the velocity and then the angle, which in this case we know is going to be below the horizontal. Right? So uh, we can get the uh, magnitude of the velocity. Uh, by using the Pythagorean theorem. And so that's the component v sub y squared plus v sub x squared, um, and then take the square root. Okay, so um, we can plug in what we have there. So v sub y, which for some reason I did first, is a negative number, but when you square it, um, that negative sign is going to go away. And then plus, I've got 49.2 meters per second quantity squared. And right, when you uh, plug that in, you get that the magnitude of the velocity is 49.3 meters per second. And so that's the magnitude. And then we can get the angle by using our relationship for the angle that uh, it's given by the inverse tangent of vy over uh, vx. You might have also heard this called the arc tangent, but on most calculators it says tan to the minus one. Uh, that means take this fraction and take the inverse of it, it'll give you what angle has that tangent. Okay. And uh, when we plug that in, uh, if you keep your minus signs there, of course remember to have your uh, calculator in degree mode, it'll automatically give you a negative number. And so it's, I've got negative 2.8 meters per second divided by uh, 49.2 meters per second. And that gives me that theta is equal to negative 3.2 degrees. Okay, so now the question of how we define what our negative angles, so usually that means that we're, or the, the standard meaning of that is that that's an angle below the horizontal. Right, so I would say, if I draw my picture, I would just write 3.2 degrees. Or if I say, um, it's moving, you know, V, the magnitude is 49.3 meters per second, and the angle is 3.2 degrees below the horizontal. And so in words, uh, that completely answers the question of what that negative number means. And so I usually like to use words rather than trying to, um, you know, force people to use my definitions for what's positive and negative. Okay, now uh, with the position, and uh, this is the easier part where you know uh, the time and all the initial conditions, so I don't have to do any rearranging of equations. So I've got x is equal to x naught plus v naught x times t, and there's no acceleration term because there's no acceleration in the horizontal direction. Um, now we're not given the uh, explicitly in the problem what's x naught, but you can just say, well, the starting position. I'm, I'm measuring how far did it go from its starting position, so um, might as well call that zero. So I'll call that zero, and then um, we've got v naught x, which is 49.2 meters per second, and then multiply that by 2.0 seconds. And that gives us, it's gone 98.4 meters in that amount of time. All right, and then for the y position, we can say, um, well, we've got our equation is y naught plus v naught y times t plus um, one half a t squared. Now, I didn't write down earlier, but uh, we were told that, you know, uh, that the ball was at about one meter above the ground um, when it was um, hit, so we can use that as our y naught. So we've got one meter plus uh, v naught y, which was 16.8 meters per second, 
times 2.0 seconds plus one half negative 9.8 meters per second squared times two seconds quantity squared. Right, so you see it's important that I, that I keep the minus sign here. Right, that's going to make this term negative um, because gravity points in the, in the downward direction. The other thing that you can, the, the way that you can think about it is that um, well, the initial velocity is going to give it, is going to make it go upward. Right? And it would keep going positive just due to the initial velocity, but gravity eventually counteracts that. Right? It makes it go not as high and then eventually uh, turn around and, and come back to the ground. Okay, so um, with that, we can just plug in those numbers and calculate, and we get that it is at a height of 24.8 meters. Sorry, that's uh, in the y direction. So um, after two seconds, it's gone 98.4 uh, meters in the horizontal direction and 24.8 meters in the vertical direction.